All right. My last question is for the quant uh, section now. So uh, either you love it or you hate it. I've not seen anybody who is neutral with the quant section. So either no, they I, are, I love quants. Oh. That's that's you something I would. I like quants. You like quants. So your quants quants was my strongest section from the start. I I didn't like verbal at all, but I was always interested in solving quants. So that really was my. Right. So even if you love quant, you have to spend at least three months. I believe after your CAT com complete CAT preparation, three months is required for math section in for the uh, uh, quant section. So yes. what was your strategy for quant? Even if I'm good in quant, I need to improve. So what was your strategy for the quant from day one? Yes. Uh, so I like quants, but I I didn't say I was always good at it. Uh, I there the the most. Quant heavy, the concept heavy section is quants in CAT. Uh, you have to know more, most of the concept. If you don't know them, then you cannot. If you don't know concept, there's no way that you can start doing solving a question. It, in DILR, you can at least uh, do it on yourself, even if you don't know any concept. But in quants, you need to know the concepts first. So I started uh, understanding and knowing all the concepts first. And then when I was aware, when I thought that I know enough concepts, then I started giving quants. And within those mocks, the question that I did not, did not know or the question that I did incorrectly, I used to go for the uh, answers to those questions, the analysis of those questions, and try to understand what they're doing. So basically, I was just learning the concepts through giving mocks and then finding the answers. So once you have the base ready, then you can definitely give mocks. You will be able to solve a certain number of questions. And I was not never able to solve all the questions. I never knew all the concepts in the paper. And it's very important to look at the analysis and the answers because those actually help us improve the knowledge and actually do it in the next. So if, if they give a similar question in the next exam, you'll at least know, okay, I saw this answer and uh, this is how they did it. And you, you then go ahead with it. Right. So this is the syllabus from the quant section. I've divided the quant into five parts, arithmetic, modern maths, uh, uh, progression inequality function logs algebra geometry numbers and times per distance time and work pnc there are five parts of them fine you can't be expert in all the five areas there yes. have to be some weaker section or there might be some topic you might have left so is there any topic you are not comfortable with ki yaar question aa bhi gaya to of course easy to obviously we can solve Mm -hmm. But if, if you give me a very tough question that if it's above average question, I'm going to leave this particular topic. So do you so, have in your mind these kind of topics? Yeah, yeah, chuch -chuch ke jana hai? For me, it was geometry. I think. Geometry, okay. Geometry was one. I liked algebra and okay. I liked probability and similar uh, topics. But geometry was something that I was not very sure of. Even, even during CAT, I left, I think, one or two questions in geometry. Okay. Uh, maybe I would have been able to solve it, but Due to limited time, you are not able to look at all the questions sometimes. And when I saw geometry, I thought that this is something that I will waste time on. So I just moved on to the next question. Okay. And then with, 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 with arithmetic or modern maths, any topic you have left? So I think arithmetic, I am pretty comfortable with. Modern maths is something that I might say I'm not very sure of after geometry. Okay, super. See, arithmetic, to, without arithmetic, to, you can't survive. It's impossible to survive CAT. CAT, any exam, any entrance exam, it's a, now which contain maths, you cannot survive if you can, can't do arithmetic. You can clear CAT only if you do arithmetic. Yes, there are enough questions in arithmetic. Yeah, so there are many, around almost 10 questions of arithmetic every year. By arithmetic, see, obviously, if you know arithmetic, you can handle a lot of other topics because time speed distance, time and work, everything based on arithmetic. Mm, yes. Arithmetic, anyways. Superb. So, what was your attempt? So, I attempted 21 questions in quant. And with accuracy rate of almost 100. 100. Yes. The 21 question correct is 100% right? Yes. No, it was 99.98. 99 8. 8. 98. Okay. So then I assume 22 questions correct is 100% time. Yes. Take care. Take 98% time. So again, yeah, guys, toppers, even toppers have uh, weak areas and the area where everyone is scared of. So you can't be expert in every area. You have to just manage yourself. CAT is about the management of your stronger section and the weaker sections. Yes. Combine them. So that's why for every section, I divide into parts. Okay, you don't say I'm weak in maths. 
within mass which is a weak area strong area let's focus on those areas yes. and then survive the exam so one thing you said very nicely which i want to um, repeat again ke my again my three strategy here is pick up all the cat papers so we have this actual cat paper ka book so called the pro books so the way you said you would just see the question and if you try to find out the concept behind that i think your major preparation is done they don't need to do the basics you don't need to do do, do the uh, rectification of the formulas so once yes. you i think once you done the basics then you move to the concept building based on the question by question so pick yes. up that question and it might take you even half an hour per question because there are some cad question which are very very tough you have to look at the solution to understand hmm ठीक है तो वांट टू अंडरस्टैंड द कांसेप्ट आई थिंक देन यू कैन सरवाइव द सेशन आराम से सो दोस हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग नाउ फॉर द एग्जाम इफ इफ यू आर अ गरीब स्टूडेंट मीन यू आर नॉट वेरी वेरी गुड इन मैथ्स एंड यू जस्ट वांट टू सरवाइव योर टारगेट इज एट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट यू हैव टू गेट मिनिमम एट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट ऑन द एग्जाम डे टू क्लियर द कट ऑफ्स सो दैट्स माय दैट्स हाउ यू नॉर्मली नॉर्मली पॉइंट देम आउट 30 मार्क्स और 30 मार्क्स का टारगेट लेके चलो इन कौन सेक्शन के थर्टी पार होना चाहिए अगर तुम्हें आई एम की कॉल चाहिए ओके नाउ दिस इज वन क्वेश्चन के डू हंड्रेड परसेंट आई हेल्प यू कन्वर्ट कन्वर्ट द कॉल बिकॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल से दैट नहीं नहीं कैट परसेंट अच्छा है तो कन्वर्ट करने का चांस अच्छा है बिकॉज आई बिलीव दैट वंस यू गेट अ कॉल एवरीबडी है इक्वल चांस सो आई आल्सो बिलीव दैट वंस यू गेट द कॉल इट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन द इंटरव्यू सो इफ यू डोंट डू वेल इन द इंटरव्यू द कैट स्कोर हैज लिमिटेड वेटेज इंटरव्यू हैज द मोस्ट वेटेज इन द सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द इंस्टिट्यूट so even if you have a great great cat score great cat percentage it won't matter if you don't do well in the interview so i believe interview should be the focus once you get the call and you should leave behind your cat percentage and obviously you can carry the confidence that you have you should actually because you have worked that much to get that percentage but you shouldn't let your interview preparation be affected by that very true very true